Hi, friend. Are you there? Can you see us? We're talking to you. Hello. Can you hear us out there? I'm sure they can hear us, Peppy. We heard that some grown-ups are having a hard time with the coronavirus PCR test. You know what that means? The kids may be a little scared. We don't like it when kids are confused and unsure what's gonna happen. So we thought we would come here to tell you the truth about the coronavirus PCR test. What? That's not helping, Peppy. Yes, you're scaring them. Oh, you are so dramatic. Oh well, we might have llama in the family. Anyway, we wanted to tell you about the PCR test. Because if you know what's gonna happen, then you can prepare for it. Yes, if you don't know what's gonna happen, it's pretty scary. But if you know, it would help you, right? Easy peasy, you will see. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is The nurse will look like an alien. Oh, Pepe, nurses don't look like aliens. Mmm, that nurse kind of looks alien. See, and even though they may look like they're from outer space, you need to know that a human works under there. Yes, probably even Nurse Laura. The nurses will dress like this because they need to protect themselves. And you, so no reason to be scared. Now, we will explain to you what will happen when you take a PCR test. First, the nurse will give you a tissue to blow your nose. <clears throat> then, ask you which side of your nose feels best. Left or right? Choose the side that doesn't feel stuffy at all. Or that feels least stuffy. Once you tell the nurse which side feels best, she'll use that side. For the next part, you will need to sit very, very still. Like a statue. But don't forget to breathe and relax. <sighs> Super important now to sit perfectly still when the nurse gets ready to use the Q-tip to collect some of the gooey stuff inside your nose to do the test. Ew, boogers! The nurse may ask someone to hold your head gently, depending on how you feel. Don't worry if you feel like you need help with this. Yes, someone will help. As kids, we know it's hard to sit still sometimes. Because of the length of the Q-tip, it will go in a bit further than you think. Some kids don't feel anything. Others feel a bit uncomfortable. Some think it kind of tickles, and some want to sneeze. <coughs> but whatever you do, sit still. The whole thing will only take six seconds. Not long at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta-da! All done. Finito! Six seconds and some boogers. Ew! If there's something that will make it easier for you to take the test, ask for it. Like some music, or if you need a squishy ball or something to squeeze. Maybe you need to hold someone's hat, or for the nurse to count down for you, so you know how long it takes. It's okay to ask for those things. And if something doesn't feel right, it is absolutely okay to say so. This is still your body, remember? So now, you know what to expect. It will feel a bit easier. And who knows, maybe you can negotiate a sticker with the nurse or an ice cream with mommy for being so brave and knowledgeable. Okay, time to go. Bye, Bye everyone. See you soon.